Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse. Broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey there, friends. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio. This is your home for elevated Bible study. That's right. This is not some of that old coffee shop Bible study. No, sir. This is bistro Bible study. We elevate Bible study here because we make it from only 100% pure Bible. No added ingredients, extra added ingredients, no MSG, no GMOs. It's just 100% Bible, and that's just the best. Today we're looking at, and all this week, Psalm 67. And we're going to look at uh, Psalm 67. It's only seven verses long. There's a couple of Salas here that divide the psalm up for us. This psalm is an orphanic psalm. That is, it doesn't have an author attributed to it in the introduction. The introduction just says, Of the choir master on Niganoth, a psalm or song. So we know Niganoth is one of those instruments that uh, most likely an instrument that they used. And so the choir master decided, you know what? This would go best with a Niganoth. So he put that in there. We're going to do verse 1 today. And let me just read that for you. If you have your Bible, open it up to Psalm 67. Look at verse 1. If you don't have your Bible or you can't get to your Bible, I'll be glad to read for you. God be merciful unto us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us. Selah. Or we start right off with a request, don't we? This is um, not necessarily a direct request either. You could translate this, may God be merciful unto us. That might even make more sense because that second phrase, and cause his face to shine upon us, is better understood with the may at the beginning. May God be merciful unto us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us. So, the, it's a request in a sense because it is hoping that God will do this thing, merciful, bless, cause his face to shine. But it's not a direct address. It's not, oh God, be merciful to us and bless us and cause your face to shine upon us. So the psalmist here expresses this general desire of the nation, right? To the, you know, everybody wants this. And this goes back, this takes us back to Numbers chapter 6. Let me read that for you too. Numbers chapter 6, the Lord gives Moses a blessing that he wants Aaron and his sons to say to the people. And here it is. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. I kind of happen to think that this particular psalm is, um, is sort of a play on those words because we're going to see some of that fleshed out here in the psalm. But notice how the psalm begins. Be merciful unto us and bless us. Cause his face to shine upon us. Those ideas are expressed in Numbers chapter 6. So in Numbers chapter 6, 23 through 26, you have that blessing that Aaron was to give the people. And here we find it in Psalm 67 in slightly a different form, but it's still here. Now, let's think about the request for a moment. Everybody wants this. We want God to be merciful to us, right? Absolutely we do, because we we can't take care of our own sins. If it's not for his mercy, friends, we're lost. We want God to bless us, don't we? Absolutely we do. We want him to take care of our situation in life, whatever that happens to be. We want to prosper. We want to grow. We want to succeed. And we want to gain fruit for his kingdom's glory. And we want his face to shine upon us, which really sort of encompasses both the first, be merciful, and bless the second. Let your face shine upon us, because if God's face shines upon us, then there certainly will be a shower of blessing. So this desire of the nation is also our desire. It's really the desire of every person who walks with the Lord. Join me again tomorrow. We'll look at verses 2 and 3 on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.